has announced that senatorial election will be held on March 25th this year and in all parts of the country. The announcement is the beginning of four major polls to be conducted by the Elections Commission, including the presidential election. Voter registration began in January. The upcoming senatorial election comes as the country faces uprising in its English-speaking regions, as well as insecurity caused by the Boko Haram insurgency. But Information Minister Issa Chiroma Mbakari tells viewers Peter Clotty that the senatorial election will be conducted in a peaceful atmosphere. If anything foreseeable today or in the future will jeopardize or prevent the election from taking place, the head of state wouldn't have uh, someone Cameroonian to be part of this competition. Cameroon is doing well and the election will take place without any trouble. People have expressed concern that due to what is going on in some part of the English-speaking areas, um, it will be difficult for elections to be held. What do you say to that? The election will take place in the two parts of our nation, I mean the Northwest and the Southwest. And if you want to be the eyewitness, let me send an invitation. You will be part of the process to testify that the election taking place in a free, fair, inclusive manner. Does ELECAM, the Elections Cameroon, have all what it takes? Has the government given them the budget that ELECAM will need to administer this election that you said will be free, fair, transparent and credible? Um, ELECAM, we are not ready. The election wouldn't have been summoned. People were not, uh, would not have been convened to take part in this election. ELECAM has to play a fundamental, a pivotal role during this election. And before convening people to be part of this process, this is a clear indication that ELECAM is ready. All the pieces of the puzzle are already put in place and let the election take place. Mr. Chiroma, when the president made the announcement, there were mixed reactions. Some people tell me from Cameroon that the 80% of the country said they were ready for the elections. The other 20 critics are saying it's not conducive to organize senatorial elections right now. How are people taking it from the people that you've interacted with? Well, this is democracy. This is their own opinion. It is impossible to check and to say which part is right and which one is wrong. Only the election will decide. We are going to scrutinize. We are going to monitor the way that the election takes place in those two areas. And, well, we will make up the mind. How is the current situation in the country that you said enabled the president to call for senatorial elections on March 25th? As far as the security is concerned, we just have in place just what is necessary to protect the freedom of movement of our brothers and sisters in the two regions. If something would jeopardize, endanger the election, the head of state wouldn't have uh, summoned the election. Rest assured that uh, this is not only my conviction, this is the conviction of the majority of Cameroonians. Now, if we have uh, some of our brothers and sisters here and there who are skeptical, well, okay, let us see. Let us see that will take place. Mr. Chiroma, can the government guarantee the safety of prospective Cameroonian voters who will go to the polls to vote in this election? Because there are concerns. There could be voter apathy that could set in that will prevent them from going to vote. Well, as far as this opinion is concerned, the government is very well aware of uh, what is taking place in those two regions of our nation. All may, as you can say in English, no stone will be left unturned in the process of protecting, removing whatever is good, whatever is necessary to hold a very free, fair election. Don't be concerned. Listen to what I am telling you. If something foreseeable, predictable would uh, take place and prevent the election from taking place, the head of state wouldn't have uh, come people to be part of this. Isa Chiroma Bakari is Cameroon's Minister of Information. He was speaking with viewers Peter Clotty from the capital, Yaoundé.
A spokesman for the self-proclaimed Ambazonia separatist movement of Southern Cameroon says no election or any government-sponsored event would be allowed to take place in English-speaking Cameroon. This comes as the Cameroonian government has announced that senatorial elections scheduled for March 25th this year will take place in all parts of the country. The Ambazonia secessionist movement is seeking independence from French-speaking Cameroon because of what it said is marginalization. Chris Anu, Secretary of State for Communication of the Separatist Movement, says nothing organized by President Paul Bia's government will be allowed to take place in southern Cameroon, including this Sunday's National Youth Day celebrations and the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations Tournament. If said Chiroma isn't sure himself what he is saying, because himself is not sure whether his president is alive or dead. And let me tell you, we in the interim government of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, we have long decided since October 1st when we declare the restoration of our nation, Ambazonia, that nothing organized in Yaoundé can be implemented in our territory, the southern Cameroon or Ambazonia. And so let, they have the right to announce an election. That we're going to see where those elections are going to take place in the southern Cameroons. No celebration of any national day organized by the Republic of Cameroon is taking place in Ambazonia. For example, February 11, which happened to fall on this Sunday. No national week celebrations organized by the Republic of Cameroon is taking place in Ambazonia. And of course, no African Cup of Nations also will be taking place in our territory that i can assure you well how do you intend to stop these events from taking place in your territory well it takes people to get these events to uh take place correct we basically need to say to our people these are foreign events being uh, organized in our territory and we're not going to be party to it and our people will respond to it accordingly that's all now, let me get your reaction to the European Union calling on the government to ensure that in dealing with what I would call uprising in the English-speaking region to ensure that lives are protected and also to initiate dialogue. Well, uh, I consider the European Union and most of these international organizations to be hypocrites. What does it take for the European Union to say to the government of Cameroon, it is your place to initiate inclusive dialogue. So I am amazed that we keep hearing put on a, a inclusive dialogue to resolve the problem, but they have the power, the leverage, the ability to have Cameroon call for inclusive dialogue. They haven't done it. When people are killed on the ground by the Cameroon government, the same European Union, the UN, the Commonwealth, and so on, they keep on saying no killing on both sides. Who is killing who on the ground? We are not armed. We are merely defending ourselves against the aggression of a well-trained army. And they are telling people to stop killing. There's a lot of hypocrisy here. The European Union, if they think we can take them seriously, should say to Mr. Beer, Mr. Beer, it is your place, not the dissidents, not the Ambazonians, to call for dialogue. It is the place of Paul Beer, and the European Union has the power to force them to do so. Chris Anu is the Secretary of State for Communication of the Ambazonia Separatist Movement of Southern Cameroon. You're speaking with me from the U.S. city of Houston in Texas.